Hello and welcome back. Now we want to program our first real program, which is doing at least something. Uh, what do we want to do or what do, do we plan to do is, you see there is an LED which is now uh, lit up. Yeah? I want this LED to be uh, blinking, to blink. Yeah? I want to have this blinking, usual first program, yeah? turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. This is what shall happen with this light. I can tell you, this light here is connected to one of those pins here, yeah? to one of those pins, and if the pin is high, it is lit, if the pin is low, it is not lit. That's it. I'm not exactly sure which pin number this is, from 0 to 13, some pin number. Yeah. However, you will see there is a constant, I will show you in uh, programming, and it will be rather easy, this program. Yeah, It's just for you to see, to get known the first three commands. One of these commands, the uh, pretty important command, is I need to tell the Arduino if this pin I'm using is an input or an output. Of course, I want to have it as an output. Why? Yeah, because I want to write to it. So, the first thing, I will do this in setup, the first thing, uh, if the Arduino is waking up, it should read and set the according pin as an output. The corresponding uh, command is called pin mode. And you see, if you have typed in the command with the correct syntax, it will highlight. It will be highlighted, in this case, orange. So, pin mode seems to be a valid command. Then I have to tell the number, usually from 0 to 13. I right now do not know, however, I can tell you there is a constant on every Arduino type the same. It is called LED built-in. Yeah? And this will exactly use the correct pin number for this built-in LED. Yeah? And I want to have this as an output. Don't forget the semicolon. That's it. Yeah? Now, this statement tells the pin number with LED built-in should be an output. That's everything I have to do in setup. Now, the Arduino knows there is an output. And in loop, I want to write to this output. Yeah? So there's a digital output, so it's either high or low. Yeah? And the corresponding command is digital write. It's getting orange, seems I've written it correctly. And which output? Of course, this LED built in. Yeah? And I want to have it high. With exactly this statement, the LED would start to light. Yeah? Let there be light, there will be light. And now, before turning it off, I want to wait. Yeah? Waiting means delay. There's the command delay. And here I only have to tell how many milliseconds I want to wait. And I want to wait for 1000 milliseconds, one second. Okay. And then I want to turn off the light again. So, digital right, yeah. LED built in, and set it to low. Back here, it should be turned off. One second after I turned on the LED, it will be turned off. And now I will wait again. And I simply copy it, style Ctrl C, Ctrl V like usual. Uh, that's it. And now I want to turn it back on again. 
but it do not have to code this because every time the loop is finished it will start again at the top. So what are we doing here? We turn on, wait a millis 1000 milliseconds a second, turn off, wait a second and then we go to the top, turn on, wait, turn off, wait, turn on, wait, turn off, wait. This should do already the trick. That's everything you need. Now I save it. Maybe you should I should have done this first, yeah? But I will use my uh, as a new a new program. I will call it Blink. I will also introduce a leading number that I have it ordered. Simply save. Now, if I download it, it translates. Downloading. What is happening? Woo! The LED is blinking. Here we have, we see, yes. One second, 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 one second. Ooh, cool! It's really working. Yeah? Now let's imagine we don't want to have this one second. Yeah? Let's imagine we want to have this 500 milliseconds, half a second only. Then I would have to change this and this. Yeah? In this program it's usually no issue. Yeah? I can change it easily here and here. Download. What is happening? It's flashing quicker. Yeah? If I want to change it again, I again have to change those two values. I do not want to change two values always because, yeah? therefore, uh, we can introduce uh, constants, yeah? compile time constants. Those constants can be defined by hashtag define and then I need to, to give a name LED on off time and I have to write a number 200 yeah? and instead inst or I write 500 because then it's clear instead uh, writing 500 here, I can simply use the constant down there. Yeah. If I download it now, yeah, you will see nothing changed. It's still working yeah, with 500 milliseconds. Uh, so this constant is really operatable. Yeah. So I'm, this is working. In the now have to change it, for instance, to 200. I simply change it here, download, what is happening? Ding, 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 ding. Much faster, yeah? You can go crazy, yeah? Set it to, to 50, for instance, download. What is happening? Oh, flashy. Yeah? This is sometimes very helpful to be sure to catch every position where this is used in the code simply by changing one single line. Yeah? So these compile time constants are very useful. You should use them. It's easy. Okay, so this is our program. Rather easy. You also have these things in the script. Somewhere down. Yeah. That's the first exercise. Upload test. You even have, there is a description what is setup, what is loop, and so on. You even have the program, yeah, even with uh, commands, uh, with comments. Comments are also very useful, also use them. Yeah. And uh, description of the command pin mode, digital write, and there's also the delay somewhere described. Uh, 
In the pin mode, like said, we are currently using output. Later on, we will use input and input pull up. What's the difference? I will tell you. Yeah. And you can uh, simply copy this also from, from the script and try if it's working. These are already mentioned. Save often, save early. Good advice. Yeah. Download it and that's it. So that's your training exercise and your exercise should be to modify this program that it's blinking in an asymmetric rhythm. So maybe half a second on and a second off or vice versa or 0 0.1 seconds on, 5 seconds off, whatever you like. Yeah? Just not symmetrically, but asymmetrically. And this is how it should look like, yeah? isometrically. Short flash, for instance, long pause, or vice versa, however you like. Yeah. Please use also uh, compile time constants. The precompiler it's called. Make use of it. It would be if you if you're doing it correct from the beginning. It will help you later very much. Okay, so good luck with the exercise and yeah, thanks for your attention.